Hello again. Teacher Joanne from Zebra English. Are you wondering what Demo 1 is like? How do I prepare for it? What are they looking for? Well, I can offer some tips as a fellow teacher and mentor of what you can do to prepare for Zebra English's Demo 1. These are some of the tips that I give my referrals and anyone else that asks um, for them. So, number one, Zebra English emphasizes TPR. Now, what is TPR? TPR is Total Physical Response. There are different types of TPR that you can use. You can use TPR to tell your student how to do something or to give them an instruction like speak, I'm listening, push play, or you can give them TPR that is defining a word like frisbee, circle, happy, Bring your best game of TPR to Demo 1. Now, number two. This is a big no-no. If you do any ESL online teaching, you will know this. Incidental language. We do not want incidental language when we are teaching students. So do not use it when you are doing demo one. Incidental language, if you don't know what it is and you're new to the uh, ESL online community, incidental language is using too many words that are not necessary or needed for explaining what you are going to do instead of doing it. Like, for example, Susie. We are going to play a game now. Would you like to play a game now? Okay, Susie, let's play a game. That's too much incidental language. Try to keep your sentences to five words or less. You could say something like, let's play a game. And then play the game with Susie. If you want to take a picture, let's take a picture or picture time. That way you're doing TPR and you're keeping your words, five words, your sentences, sentences, five words or less. And that's just a good rule of thumb. That helps cut down on the incidental language. So think about that when you are preparing for this demo one. Now, number three. Fun. You want to have fun when you are working with this Demo 1 student. Now, keep in mind, it's not going to be a student. It is going to be an adult, your interviewer, acting like a student. You are to show that you can build rapport with that student, that you can have fun with that student, and you can have a relationship with that student. Because remember, we are teaching students. We are investing in them, and they want to see that we can build that relationship with them. Because Zebra English is all about relationships and long-term students, if you can take them. Now, the next one, number four, would be pacing. Pay attention to the clock. Look at this slide number and about how many minutes you need to prepare for each slide. You want to pace that lesson well so that you do not get finished in 10 minutes and it doesn't take you 30 minutes to finish. You want to be able to keep that lesson between 20 and 25 minutes. And don't skip any slides. So be able to teach the lesson well, keep it flowing, and have good pacing. And that takes practice. You just can't wing it, even if you're a good teacher you still need to practice. Which leads me in to my fifth recommendation. 
and that is prepare. I cannot stress that enough. So many come into a demo and they think one, that they can wing it, or two, it's really simple to teach and I don't need a lot of preparation for it. Or maybe they just didn't have time to prepare. But remember, that demo one determines if you are passed on to be a teacher or passed on to the next step. So if you don't pass that demo one, it's over for three months until you can reapply. So do your best. If you cannot keep that or you don't think you're prepared enough for that demo one, then cancel your interview. Reschedule it and allow that spot to go to someone else who has prepared and then you, it will give you more time to prepare and have a better shot at passing the Zebra English interview. Remember, Zebra English knows exactly what they're looking for. Other companies may hire you, Zebra English may or may not, depending on the skill set that you bring to the table when you apply with them and do the demo one. So please be prepared, do your best, and show off your teaching skills. All right, happy teaching, best wishes, and if you need any help, I love to help people. My links are listed below in the comment section. Well, not in the comment section, under the video. But you can find my referral link if you have not applied and need to apply or want to. You can also find the link to my Facebook group that shows um, or that tells you how to get connected with me and be a part of my coaching group. All right, happy teaching. Best wishes. Goodbye.